Don't like it? There's a backlash for that. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV shows that got changed due to backlash. Jackie's right, Dan. It's it's Becky's call. Thanks, Mom. I'll be out the garage. We're taking a look at TV shows that got altered in some way due to the nature of the content or the actors themselves. Let's get to it. All right, I'm not doing this with you, and you have a good day. Bye. Okay. Bye. See you later. Bye. See you in a second. Yeah, I get Bye. this. I don't approve, but I, I get it. Ah. Number 10, Stranger Things. There's a lot to love in this critically acclaimed series about kids dealing with supernatural events in the small town of Hawkins, Indiana. However, for one tobacco control organization, there was a lot to pick on. Stay here with your mom. She needs you. Published in July 2019, Truth Initiative's report found that the Netflix show had one of the highest counts of tobacco use in their first season, only to increase by 44% in the second. The complaint caused Netflix to pledge that any new shows rated TV 14 and below, and movies rated PG 13 and below, would no longer contain any smoking or e-cigarette use unless deemed necessary for historical or factual accuracy. Yeah, but it is constant. It is constant. Number 9. Game of Thrones this HBO smash hit caused quite a stir with its graphic portrayals of sex and violence. But when certain scenes mixed sex and violence together, many critics and viewers felt that the show had crossed a line. You're a hateful woman. Why have the gods made me love a hateful woman? A scene in the fourth season in which Jamie forces himself on his sister and lover Cersei generated its fair share of controversy. But it was Ramsay's assault of Sansa Stark in season five that really tipped the balance. Lying to your husband on his wedding night. That would be a bad way to start a marriage. The public outrage led to showrunners David Benioff and D.B. Weiss to promise to reduce the violence toward women in future episodes. Yes, all men must die. But we are not men. Number 8. Clone High See, dude, that's called marketing. Marketing brings the coin. Marketing, eh? This animated MTV sitcom for adults often hit the funny bone for fans, particularly for its depictions of famous historical figures as teens trying to get by in high school. That is, until the show decided to feature revered lawyer and activist Mahatma Gandhi in a less than flattering portrayal. I'm the guy with two french fries up his nose. Get it? <laughs> That's hilarious, Gandhi. Many Indians were so appalled that a hunger strike was staged in New Delhi, which prompted an immediate apology from MTV and the promise of a second season without the offensive character. <laughs> The show never recovered from the controversy and was eventually cancelled. Oh my god, you guys got so hot. You used to be like troll babies, but you know, I never gave up hope. Number 7. Girls Few shows on HBO have garnered as much acclaim and as much derision as this comedy drama based on the lives and relationships of four girls living in New York City. Don't look at me. Although many had a field day criticizing everything from creator and actress Lena Dunham's regular nudity on the show to its portrayal of sexual assault, it's girls' lack of racial diversity that finally grabbed Dunham's attention. Why, why do you have so many rules? Well, I told you that I'm doing this a different way, okay? She attempted to address the issue by casting Donald Glover as her character's boyfriend for two episodes in season two. However, some also criticized the casting as a token gesture. The joke's on you, because you want to know what? I what? never thought about the fact that you were black once. That's insane, okay? You should. I didn't that's even what think I about it till you said it just now. No, because I okay. don't live in a world where there are divisions like that. You do, okay? Number six, Patriot Act with Hassan Minhaj. This item on our list is pretty unique, as it sparked more backlash when the show was changed than the original backlash that prompted the change. Remember, America hates terrorists. Saudi Arabia gave them passports. It all started when comedian Minhaj filmed an episode of his show in which he criticized Saudi Arabia's military campaign in Yemen, its human rights violations, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, and the killing of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi. The Saudi government has denied this story, but none of this would come as a surprise if you actually lived in Saudi Arabia. The Middle Eastern country retaliated, citing that the episode violated its cybercrime law, which caused Netflix to pull the episode from its service in Saudi Arabia. This led to international outrage against Netflix, with many viewing it as a cowardly move. Yuck. Number 5. Urban Myths 
This lighthearted take on stories surrounding famous pop culture figures was a hit when released, praised for its unique premise and charming storytelling. Things took a turn for the worse when it was announced that Joseph Fiennes would play Michael Jackson in an upcoming episode, triggering a torrent of outrage from Jackson's family. After the release of the trailer for the episode in question, the public unleashed new waves of criticism, particularly for the casting of a white actor to play Jackson. I sensed the danger. He always has such keen senses, Michael. After fans began a petition to boycott the episode, which received more than 20,000 signatures, an apology was quickly issued and the episode pulled from broadcast. Number 4. House of Cards In late 2017, Netflix's political drama House of Cards was riding high. The show's fifth season had added even more accolades to an already impressive collection, and production had begun on season six. With acclaimed actor Kevin Spacey in the lead role as ruthless politician Frank Underwood, what could go wrong? Well, a lot. He's crazy. In October, an allegation of sexual misconduct against Spacey froze production and opened the floodgates to many more accusations. The only question is, will you make it a swift death or a painful one? Spacey was fired and cut from the final season, with Robin Wright replacing him as lead. The season reduced to just eight episodes. Spacey's response? The bizarre, unsettling in-character video, Let Me Be Frank. Well, wait a minute. Now that I think of it, you never actually saw me die, did you? Number 3. 13 Reasons Why Anna, what did you mean when you said you needed life to stop? Although the season 1 finale warned that the episode included graphic depictions of violence and suicide, many were still unprepared for the nearly 3 minute long portrayal of Hannah's gut-wrenching suicide. The show has been criticized by mental health professionals as glamorizing self-harm and increasing the number of real-life suicide attempts, and for many, this scene was the last straw. In response to public backlash and the advice of medical experts, Netflix added warning cards and advisory videos to the show, and in 2019, edited out the suicide scene from the finale. You can't love someone back to life. You can try. Number 2. Roseanne. Okay, I'm gonna ask you something kind of adult, but you're growing up and I think you can handle it. When ABC announced that Roseanne was being revived for a 10th season, fans rejoiced. In the 80s and 90s, the charming sitcom won multiple Emmys and Golden Globes and catapulted actors like John Goodman and Roseanne Barr to stardom. Sure enough, the revival was a hit and quickly renewed for an 11th season. That is, until Barr got on Twitter to liken Valerie Jarrett, an African-American Obama administration official, to the Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes. You miss a lot of stuff when you're out drinking in the garage, Dan. That's the whole point. ABC quickly condemned the racist comments as abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values, and canceled the entire show in May of 2018, instead releasing a spinoff called The Connors without Roseanne. We could not have held this all together without you. you well, know. that's why I'm here. I know Roseanne would want me to step in and watch over the family. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Simpsons You know what, Apu? I am really, really gonna miss you. Apu Nahasa Pima Petalon has long been criticized for perpetuating racial stereotypes. However, it was the blistering 2017 documentary The Problem with Apu that finally made an impact. I should be completely happy, but there's still one man who haunts me, Apu Nahasa Pima Petalon. The documentary prompted calls for the character, an Indian American voiced by actor Hank Azaria, to be axed from The Simpsons. While rumors circulated that Apu might soon disappear, creator Matt Groening announced in August of 2019 that Apu would remain on the show. However, writer Al Jean indicated that the character was a work in progress, suggesting that viewers could expect some changes to the enduring Quickie Mart owner. Please, don't make a scene. But if you do, bring back bread! As of December 2019, just what sort of changes that will entail has yet to be seen. I will just live in the happy past one moment longer. Uh. We're anxious to see what changes, if any, The Simpsons will finally make to Apu. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And check out this video.